Welcome back, classmates. Another Tabata workout. Professor Stern here. 20 seconds of movement, 10 seconds of rest, 8 rounds. Got my lovely app open up. Going to have a fun one today. You're going to hear some bear crawls. Going to get those bear crawls going. First, we're going to do what I like to call bus drivers. I got my dumbbell not too heavy, 12 and a half pounds. We're going to stick the squat. So you're going to sit on back down like you're driving the bus. Turn those hands over and over. Keep those uh, the chest up, keep your core engaged, breathe, 20 seconds, ready, let's drive that bus, take a look at the hips, they're low, this will burn the legs and the shoulders and of course that abdomen, drive that bus, if turning the bus gets too hard, you just hold it there, maybe you pretend like you're at a railroad or maybe you're picking up a kid, three, two, and one, come on up. You sit back down into that squat position and drive the bus. Round two, three, two, and one. Now you don't have to drive it too fast. You don't have to make so sudden turns, just hand over hand. Make sure that weight is back in your heels. Legs will burn. Three, two, and one. Again, not too heavy on the dumbbell. That 10 seconds of recovery is wonderful. Back down, round three. If the shoulders are too hot, you just hold it. If you feel too much pressure in the back, you take a brief moment, you breathe, you stand back up, you get back down and recover and back into action. Three, two, one. Arms are hurting already, legs are hurting, stomach's hurting. Round four, first exercise of that Tabata. So it's a simple move, but it's devastating. Three, two, and one. If you need to, absolute worst case situation, get rid of the dumbbell and just stick the squat. That's if you need to right now. Legs are low, quads are tight, knees are behind the toe, trying to keep that chest up, let those legs shake. Remember, it's only 20 seconds of a struggle when you stand. And you shake those legs out. Entering round six, gonna pick up that steering wheel once again. And drop back down into that bus driver's seat and turn it hand in hand. I do have a little bend in my elbows, but the hands go up and over. That was six, two more. Remember every second counts in your Tabata. 10 seconds, that's all you get to recover. I gotta stay lower. And stand. One more. One more, one more, one more. You got dive bomber push-ups. You got bear crawls. We got high knees. We got skull crushers. Oh, I'm talking too much. Last one. Beautiful job driving the bus. Man, that's devastating. Come on down. Two dumbbells are with you. Remember, if you need that 60 seconds to recover here, you can. If not, here's how this works. Dumbbells are up. We're gonna skull crush, but I'm gonna make this a little harder today. So we're gonna do skull crushers with leg raises. Now, the option right off the bat for the leg raise, by the way, my heels do touch the ground. 
but the option is to do a single leg raise as you crush. 20 seconds of movement, 10 seconds of recovery, eight times. Here we go. Skull crush, triceps and abs. Nice and slow. Good challenge is right here. I'm keeping my heels off of the ground. They're never touching the ground. So if that puts pressure on your lower back, I want those heels down. Good, I'm gonna try to keep those dumbbells up there for the moment. Heels are down, that's one round, I'm on that rest. Let's go round two. Remember, other rounds you can pick up the speed. So as your dumbbells go back, your legs go up. Triceps and abs. Nice. Again, lightweight, that's all you need. I can feel my triceps on fire already. My shoulders are relaxed on the mat. My legs are extended, dumbbells are back up. And welcome to round three. Single leg option. If lifting the legs is just putting pressure on that lower back. And again, worst case scenario option. You keep both heels on the floor and focus on those triceps. Whatever you do, you make sure those triceps do not crash on down to your face. No matter how good your body would look, your face would look a little distorted with a dumbbell coming right down on it. We don't want that happening. Control the dumbbells. Leg lifts. Nice, that 20 seconds went quick. Four rounds down, entering round five. Dumbbells back up, going single leg. Try to keep that leg straight. Engage your abdomen. I like the dumbbells outside of the ears, keeping those elbows up. Control the legs on the way down. Control the dumbbells on the way down. Six, two more of the exercise, and then we're moving on. Keep breathing. Seven. One more. Triceps. Amps. Let's go. Beautiful. Here's some really good news. You can get rid of the dumbbells. You don't need them for the next three exercises. We're going bear crawling. Bear crawl. So I'm going to take this mat and move it to the side just for this exercise. Need the space on the floor. Not a lot of space. I'm going to show you the bear crawl. If you've never done this before, it's going to lead left leg, right arm, take a few steps forward, step back, and crawl. 20 seconds. Keep that butt low and move the body. 
Get back to that top bottom round. Three, two, one, go. seconds. I'm just going to turn around. Bear crawls. Now, if you have more space, obviously you can keep crawling. You don't have to crawl backwards. I know a lot of you do these in this, the comfort of your home. So unless you got a huge open floor, it is more accessible to just go back and forth. Ah, it starts to burn those shoulders. Drive with the legs. You can always pick up that speed. Oh, what I do there? I think I might have missed the beep. All right. No sweat, no harm, no foul. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give myself the full 10 second. I don't know what happened there. Might have just been in the bear zone and I, I lost focus. So I'm starting round five here. Bear crawl to 20 seconds. That's the problem with using your phone during Tabata. A random number. Interrupting the clock. You know what? They're really messing up my flow here. Oh, my bear crawls. <sighs> All right. At least I think the clock picked it up. I think it was okay. Anyway, I'm entering round seven. Bear crawling. You know what, to make up for it, I'm going to continue crawling until I hear that final beep. It might burn a little extra, but that's all right. Those little hiccups happen every time. Not every time, but they happen sometimes during workouts. You got to roll with the punches. Don't let them mess up your momentum and your energy. Like I said, I'm going all the way to the finish line. There it is. Huh. Bear crawls. Where are we going from there? Bears in the woods? Let's run away from the bear. Going high knees. Just like you're running in place. Go. Now I'm gonna challenge some of you to take this running in place and intensify it into a knee tuck. Not easy. That's one of those exercises that you can add maybe every other round. But right here, this is where I want the heart rate up. And then we're going to finish this entire workout with dive bomber push-ups, one of the hardest ones possible. Back to that running in place. Driving the knees up. Keeping the chest up. Swinging those arms. Stay light on those feet. Stay light on those feet. I know you're getting faster by doing those extra credit. 
assignments I've been sending you. Same kind of concept, interval running here. A lot of bursts, big burst of energy, short period of time, followed by a short period of rest. Round three. Hey, here's a challenge for myself. Now, if you have knee issues, don't want you doing those. I want you sticking with this right here and focus on your speed. You're going to notice you're going to get a little slower. You're going to be out of breath quicker. Round four, run from that bear. Let me turn to the side. Keep driving those knees up. Keep driving those knees up. Come on. So many different body parts being worked in this Tabata today. Think back to driving the bus. How the legs felt. The shoulders were burning. Then your abs were burning. And your triceps were on fire at the same time. And then we were driving with those legs again on those bear curls where the shoulders were hot. And now right now, we are running in place with high knees. That's five down. Here's round six. Go. Come on, burn some more calories. Let's go. Pick up that pace. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Don't slow down yet. Don't slow down. Come on. It's going to be a tough follow-up to do dive bombers if your heart rate's this high. You've never done those before. You should get excited right about now. Just thinking about one of the hardest push-ups to accomplish. Not your standard push-up. Round seven. I definitely did not give my best effort on round seven. So I'm gonna challenge myself round eight. I'm gonna throw in those knee tucks. Staying light on those feet. Here, one more. Boom. Four exercises down. One more. I'm going to bring that mat back. We're going to take a look at this dive bomber. Four minutes. Body's going to be up. Butt's high. You're going to lead with the head. Bring the chest low. Bring the butt back. Elbows flare off to the side. Option, give me standard push-ups, but try these dive bombers. The hardest part is going to be coming back. You might be able to get under the fence, but coming back to the top. Lead underneath the fence, and back under the fence. Good, get the rest. At 10 seconds, how are we feeling? Those are not easy. But just think, this is your last exercise in Tabata Day. Body up, low. Get underneath the fence and lead back. Who's already doing standard push ups? That's okay if you are. be doing them eventually, don't worry. I'm going to throw a round in there. I might throw it in right now. A little bit more of a uh, simple exercise. And of course, the modified standard push-up. Drop the knees, bring the hips, 
Every muscle is tired right now in the body. I'm sweating. My heart rate's up. It's three rounds down. Back to those dreaded dive bomber push-ups. Dive underwater here. Chest is up. Lead on back. Down. Getting the body close to that floor. And back underneath. Definitely an advanced move. Thank goodness for that bell. See how I went a little slower down the dive bombers? I held it out there and I held it back up. Tempo, I always tell you, tempo changes the game. Because sometimes you can crank out the fast ones. But it's the slow ones that burn. Just a little more. Yeah. If the arms give way, you just drop those knees for a minute. It'll take a few extra seconds to breathe. That is five rounds down. I am entering round six. Dive bombers. Don't lose form. Get that butt up. Come underneath. This low impact move is devastating. Gosh. Come on, dive bombers. Two rounds left. I'm gonna crank out push-ups right here. Man, the arms are getting so tired. I told you, absolutely no editing. I am human. These exercises are not easy. They will challenge you every workout. No matter how fit and strong you get, you can always get better. Let's finish Tapata one round. Man, that 20 seconds of push ups certainly helped. I feel good on this last round of dive bombers. Whole body is certainly tired. But I feel accomplished. There's the bell. Man. Classmates, I hope you survived this Tabata round. Because class is dismissed.